Good morning, students. Hope you all are best of the health and in staying at home. And hope your parents are also fine enough. So, students, hope you all have given the a periodic test with sincerity. I have corrected the copies. Almost everybody has done nicely except a few. Four or five of them has got full marks. But from your copy, it became very much, I was very much confident that all of you have given the exam with sincerity and with the uh, decorum of the exam. So students, uh, the chapter which came in the exam was chemical reactions and equations. Already I have given you ample of notes, videos, provided with videos. Now I will be giving you a recap of those chapters in the form of an assignment questions. And it will be there as an, along with the notes. But you see, we don't know when will the school reopen. So in that uncertainty, we thought of beginning with the second chapter, that is the acid, bases and salts. It's a very uh, different type of chapters which you have done. I think you have done it in class 7, slightly you have done it in class 7. So we will be beginning that chapter. So please take out your copies and books and I will be giving you notes mixing from different books please note it down that if you do it will be more than sufficient so today i will discuss about acids and bases today i will discuss about acids and in my next video i will be discussing about bases along with that i will give you some questions so now first what is acids what are acids now this acid word came from the latin word acida okay it came from the latin word acidus a c i d u s which means sour taste which means it is a sour taste fine so acids if you just say you have heard about numerous acid like hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, acetic acid in the form of vinegar. So acids are substances to very in a very small definition like a small definition acids are defined as substances which are sour in taste. They are sour in taste. Whereas bases are substances which are bitter in taste. First of all, they are sour in taste and turns blue litmus. Now I will discuss what is litmus. Blue litmus solution or paper to red. The change of the color is from blue to red. And bases are the substances which are bitter in taste and changes red litmus to blue. I am not writing it. I will tell you. Now what is this litmus? Litmus is a natural indicator. Litmus is a natural indicator. What is an indicator? I will tell you. Indicator is a substance which can be used to indicate whether the acid is present or a base is present. Now Litmus is a natural indicator as like turmeric. Turmeric, you know, haldi, it is also a natural indicator. Turmeric, okay. Now, how do you know the turmeric? Now, when a stain of curry, that is what you say in that Hindi, um, stain, curry, curry type of thing is there, when it falls, on your white cloth it becomes what is the color of the becomes it becomes brown okay brown and you when you apply soap on it it becomes more prominent 
because soap is a base. So this is the litmus indicator. Now coming to the acid base indicator. In your NCRD book also you will see acid base indicators. Acid base indicators. Now acid base indicators are those substances or indicators which are used to detect the presence of acid or base in a solution. Detect the presence of presence of acid base. Now, like detect the presence of acid or base in a solution. Now, if you take litmus solution, litmus solution, okay. fine. Now, litmus solution, it is a purple dye. It is a purple dye in color. Okay. And which is extracted, it is a natural indicator, it is extracted from, extracted from lichen plant. It is actual extracted from lichen plant which belongs to the thallophyta family. Thallophyta, bryophyta, you have studied in bio, in class, thallophyta family. Okay. So litmus solution is a purple dye obtained from the or extracted from lichen plant that is the thallophyta. One more is there, another natural indicator is red cabbage juice. Red cabbage. Many more are there red cabbage juice. Okay. Red cabbage juice which is deep red. Okay. Deep red in acidic solution deep red in acidic solution and it becomes purple it changes to purple in neutral solution okay and it changes to yellow in then to green and then to yellow in strongly basic solution okay then changes to strongly yellow into strongly basic solution. Now, more more is there, blackberry is there, those rose petals are, these are all natural indicators. So this much is clear to you. So first of all, what are acids? Acids are Latin words, which is derived from the word acidus, sour in taste and blue litmus to red. And then we came to the litmus solution, it's a natural indicator, detect the presence of acid or base. Solution is a purple dye extracted from lichen plant of the thallophyta family. Now, let me discuss about the acid. What are acids? Now, before that, let me discuss about olfactory indicators. What are olfactory indicators? Okay. Olfactory indicators are some substances whose odor changes in acidic or basic medium. Whose odor changes in acidic or basic medium. Acidic or basic medium. Fine. Whose odor changes in acidic or basic medium. Like Common examples are raw onion or and vanilla extract. Okay. If you slice a small pieces of onion and you add acid to it, you'll get a smell. Uh, the smell will be different from when you take the same thing in the basic medium. Now, coming to the substances. Now what are acids? Acids. What are acids? First of all. First of all, they have sour taste. They have got sour taste. Second, changes blue litmus solution to blue litmus to 
right third changes methyl orange to red it is an indicator methyl orange is an indicator methyl synthetic indicator methyl orange to red and there is no change in the color of phenolphthalein phenolphthalein is a colorless solution phenolphthalein it remains colorless okay now coming to the acids acids are categorized into two types one is inorganic acids in organic acids which you call it as mineral acids mineral acids which you obtain from the minerals of the from the and minerals of the earth of the earth here you will get hcl hydrochloric acid then sulfuric acid h2so4 nitric acid hno3 these are all okay and next coming to the organic acids which are obtained from obtained from mainly from plants okay like uh or plants or animals fine now like if you take acetic acid acetic acid we get from well vinegar okay you see in vinegar now lactic acid you find in milk milk okay then citric acid in citrus fruit citric acid you get in citrus fruit oxalic acid okay oxalic acid you get from tomatoes okay and another one is tartaric acid you get from tamarind malic acid you get from apples and now the main focus is that this acids they are first sour in taste changes blue litmus to red but they don't change red litmus to blue change methyl orange to red and with phenolphthalein indicators they remain colorless now this inorganic acid they are very strong acids they are very strong acids and organic acids they are generally weak acids fine they are very weak acids so this much is clear to you now now coming to the properties of acids properties so physical properties already i have told you physical properties what is the physical properties that the discolor uh, they, they are sour in taste then most of the acids are liquids like sulfuric acid nitric acid acetic acid except for some like boric acid it is solid okay boric acid it is solid or oxalic acid it is also solid in form it conducts electricity second it changes the blue litmus paper to red and red no changes now coming to the chemical properties this is my dear student very important and something you have studied it in class 7 also first is reacting with acids with metal reaction of acids with metals okay now acid reacts with metals to form metal salt and give liberate hydrogen gas liberate hydrogen gas how will you know hydrogen gas is liberated you bring your burning match stick near the mouth of the test tube it will give a pop this is the confirmatory result suppose if i take zinc metal this is solid i add hcl this is aqueous it will form zncl2 aqueous and hydrogen gas it is gaseous similarly you can do with magnesium magnesium solid sulfuric acid h2so4 aqueous that is dilute mgso4 aqueous plus 
H2. Okay, this is one. Next is the reaction of the reaction of acids with metal carbonates, carbonates or carbonates or bicarbonates. That is metal carbonates or metal bicarbonates. Now acid reacts with metal. That is acid reacts with metal carbonate or metal bicarbonate, metal hydrogen carbonate to form metal salt. Then it will it will give water and release carbon dioxide gas. How will you detect carbon dioxide gas? If you pass lime water through it, the lime water will change milky. My dear student, the lime water will change milky. So let us take an example. If I take sodium carbonate, Na2, CO3 and add to it HCl. So I am doing a balanced equation, sodium carbonate. If I take solid, this is aqueous. It will form 2NaCl aqueous plus H2O plus CO2. This is a gas. So this will give, when you bring a burning matchstick, it will give a uh, it will, sorry, when you uh, bring a, a pass lime water through it, sorry, it will get lime water will change to milk. Third is the reaction of metals or acid, reaction of acids with bases. Reaction of acids plus bases. What is this reaction called? You have studied in the last chapter. This is called as neutralization reaction neutralization reaction this is called as neutralization reaction area like NaOH aqueous plus HCl it forms NaCl plus water this is salt and this is water liquid so this is the this is called as neutralization reaction the third type now, fourth is reaction of reaction of acids with metallic oxide. Metallic oxides. Like you know, metallic oxides are generally basic in nature. Metallic oxides are generally basic in nature, therefore they are known as basic oxide. What does it mean? It will turn the red litmus paper to blue. So if I take copper oxide, CuO copper oxide plus HCl, it will form CuCl2 plus H2O. So this is a reaction of metallic oxide. So fourth type of reactions I showed, reaction of acid with metal, it will form metal salt and release hydrogen gas. Reaction of acids with metal carbonates or metal bicarbonates. I have shown here metal carbonate. Let us do one more example of metal NaH. 2CO2, same reaction. 2NaCl, same reaction to give carbon dioxide gas. Reaction of acid with bases, it will form neutralization reaction, that is NaOH plus HCO give NaCl plus H2. And last is the reaction of acid with metallic oxide, it will form metal salt and hydrogen gas. Now, what is the correct way of diluting an acid? The correct way of diluting an acid, my dear student, correct way. Many of you, you don't know. Correct way of diluting acid is add acid to water and not water to acid. No. If you do water to acid, it will come out and splash and it will damage your eyes. So when you add acid to water, you should continuously slowly stir so that the heat is not generated at one place but is evenly distributed and you get the dilute form. Now, one more thing. What are strong acids? Strong acids, what are strong acids? Strong acids are those acids which completely ionize. Which completely ionize. Like HCl, HNO3, etc. Like HCl. If it ionizes, it forms H plus plus Cl minus. Hydrogen ion. 
hydrogen ion when it reacts with water it forms H3O plus this is called as hydronium ion this you term it as hydronium ion but in case of weak acid like acetic acid or oxalic acid carbonic acid these things are not possible now what do all acids have in common all acids have hydrogen ion in common like if you take an um, this acidic acid CH3COH this is since it is a feeble acid it will go like this COH plus but then also it will release hydrogen ion so all acids produce hydrogen gas on reacting with metal okay and it will give release hydrogen ion now one more thing is there which I want to show it to you suppose you take a beaker okay and you take a rubber cork here and put here two pins okay and connect this with a conductor put a bulb here okay and this now in this solution you put first you put hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid whatever you will see the bulb is glowing the bulb will glow already I have written in the notes but if you take alcohol or glucose which will not conduct uh, not release hydrogen ion that will not the bulb will not glow so only acids if you put in the beaker it will the bulb will glow because the hydrogen ion is released okay and it will conduct electricity but if you take alcohol or glucose it will not release hydrogen ion or and it will not now what are some uses of acids like if you take HCl it is used in painting industry printing textile sulfuric acid you call it as the king of acids it is used in batteries cars uh, it is used for uh, different another uh, like things like fertilizers explosives nitric acid is for preparing TNT trinitrotoluene also to prepare aqua regia what is aqua regia you try to find it out three parts one part is Cl and three parts HNO3 okay now last definition is Arrhenius concept of acids now according to Arrhenius Arrhenius are subs Arrhenius acids concepts are acids are substances which dissociate into aqua solution to give hydrogen Arrhenius Arrhenius it dissociate to give hydrogen ion so everything I have tried to explain you in these notes so please go through these notes properly my dear students and everything if you study the notes it will be very much helpful to you any doubts you feel free to ask to me and to my whatsapp number I think now by now you all are having it okay and I know all of you so hope that you have understood you please note down these things in your copy and when I will the school will open I will take your copies for correction all the best and stay safe stay at home thank you have a nice day